Remaining motivated to work out, health and fitness bloggers share their answers. Choosing to focus on wellness in your life is probably the best blessing you can give yourself. In any case, for a few, that choice creates in three stages. Stage number one. Strengthening, I'm all over this. My body is my sanctuary. I am a monster. Try not to mess with the beast. Stage number two. Inconvenience, uh, I'm tired of rising right on time to exercise. Those squats make me sore. For what reason wouldn't I be able to simply resemble her, she never goes to the exercise center. I truly abhor her. That is to say, I like her yet I despise her. Stage number three. Annihilation, I swear I didn't discard those stretchy jeans, I know they are in here someplace. What's more, where is that damn pack of Cheetos? The bachelor is on shortly. We've all been there at some point. Be that as it may, how might we abstain from hitting stage 2 and 3 and remain on the wagon? I've talked with 12 well-being and wellness bloggers to discover exactly how they remain inspired to exercise and keep wellness a need. Furthermore they've likewise shared their preferred exercises to assist us with stirring up our wellness routine and evade feared exercise fatigue. I remain propelled to exercise by making achievable objectives for myself to take a shot at every day. Objectives that I make run from running a half-long distance race in two months or climbing a weight set in three weeks. By making objectives that are not very out of sight the future and are things I realize I am able to do on the off chance that I put the work in every day, at that point I am consistently spurred to exercise and propel myself towards those objectives. Having objectives that I plan out how I will achieve through preparing plans encourages me to comprehend what I have to do every day, rather than getting up in the first part of the day and considering what I ought to do to exercise. At the point when I wake up with an arrangement, I know precisely what to complete and how that will assist me with arriving at my objective. It is additionally essential to compensate yourself once you do hit that objective, regardless of whether it be another exercise top or a pedicure, and to keep on defining new objectives to move in the direction of. That will prop the inspiration up on all through the whole year as you set solid propensities for the since a long time ago run. I remain roused by helping myself to remember the inclination I get post-exercise. Regardless of my state of mind fortunate or unfortunate going into the exercise, I generally leave an exercise feeling re-stimulated, less pushed, and more joyful. I like to set objectives for myself, time, separation, and so on, and when I arrive at those objectives, you cannot beat that feeling I get of self-pride and achievement.